Hello Internet, today we're going to make an FM squalchy acid psychedelic lead on the Axis Virus A. I really don't know how we're going to call this lead, but this is how it sounds like. <laughs> Now to make this lead we're going to use both oscillators, both filters and the three LFOs that comes with the Axis Virus A. So let's start with the oscillator. Oscillator 1 is going to stay on the default saw wave, just like that. Oscillator 2 is going to be our FM source and for this I'm going to choose the square wave, crank the FM amount up and sync it up. This is how it sounds like. Now I'm going to put the balance in between. And that's pretty much it oscillator wise. Now let's go to the filters. The filters are going to stay on serial 4 mode. First filter is going to be a bandpass and the second filter is going to be a high pass. High pass because it's going to work as an equalizer. It's going to roll off all the unnecessary low end the first filter is going to produce when it's going to get modulated. So I'm going to unlink both filters up and this is how it sounds like. For the first filter, I'm going to crank the resonance up just a little bit. And before we start the modulation, I'm going to spice up the sound with some saturation. I'm going to use the hard uh, algorithm, crank it just a little bit. Now we're going to start the modulation. The first modulation we're going to use the second LFO on sample and hold. It's going to modulate the first filter. I'm going to crank it all the way up. Now I'm going to the clock of the second LFO. I'm going to set it to 1 and 16th. And just so the LFO won't restart its cycle whenever it wants, I'm going to key trigger it. And now, with the random pattern I wrote for this video, it's going to sound like this. Now, I am going to add some randomness to the sound using the LFO1 to modulate the pulse width of the second oscillator. It's true that it's written pulse width 1 and 2, but it's not going to affect the first oscillator because it's on saw wave. So I'm going to crack it all the way up, leave it free running just like that, put it on sample and glide, and now this is how it, it's going to sound like. <laughs> Now, I'll spice up even more the sound and add some more randomness by modulating the oscillator balance with the third LFO. And for this, we're going to go to the modulation matrix. The source is going to be LFO3. And the destination at the os is the oscillator balance, just like that. Crank it just a little bit. And we're going to go to the LFO3. Just leave it on a random rate, let's say this one, and the shape on sample and glide. And this is how it's going to sound like now. The last thing which is going to add even more randomness is linking the LFO1 to the resonance of the first filter. And, with, and we're going to use the, uh, the modulation matrix for that. So assign to is going to be LFO2. And the destination is first resonance, just like that. We're going to crank it just a little bit. And this is how it sounds like. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Now let's see with the kick and bass and some chorus. Now I'm going to add some delay, but before that I'm going to set the delays clock to 3 on 16th, which means it's the equivalent of 1 on 18th dot. Now let's see how it sounds like with the delay. And I'm going to finish it with some reverb from the Polar Stone Box. I've set it to the spring mode, and now let's see how it sounds like. And that's pretty much it. Hope you've liked it. Have a great day.